Hi everybody, it's Jeff Holiday. It's um, 10.51 p.m. on Thursday, and usually I would not be making a video this late, especially because I have to like edit it and put it together, and then upload it, and it's it takes a little bit of time, and I have school first thing in the morning, but oh my god, this uh, this dress thing is just out of control. So earlier today, somebody on Tumblr posted a picture of her dress, and she said that people were having trouble being able to determine if her dress was white and gold or blue and black. And this has apparently just become this huge, huge thing on the internet. And people are debating pretty fiercely on one side or the other. <laughs> and I think it's really awesome because what's actually going on is really fascinating, and it gets people to ask a question, like, why would I see something different than my friend or even in a lot of cases and I mean it, it even did it to me I looked at it I saw a certain type of colors and then I scrolled down and when I scrolled back up it looked totally different and because most of my friends can't stop talking about this thing I figured I would make a really quick video to try and explain why this is happening to understand this phenomenon you have to understand a little bit more about how our eyes work especially how they relate to our brain uh, and neurologically how these things all come together and are intermixed. What we see, what we actually perceive, is light bouncing off in different wavelengths of objects and them reflecting into our eyes, our rods and our cones. Um, this basically gets turned into visual data, it gets sent into the back of our skull to our civil cortex where it's crunched and processed and eventually this is pushed forth in some in, in a cognitive way for us to see. So that word salad effectively equates to light bounces, illuminates something, and we take in the information. Our brain works and crunches on how it's supposed to work and how it's supposed to look, and it shows us. And it all happens extremely fast. But one thing that's really important to remember is that when you see something, you're not seeing just raw information, you are seeing the interpretation your brain is effectively giving based on what it's seeing. So what you see is an amalgamation of, a, of many, many different things. For instance, people who have really strong visual hallucinations, and this can be anything from taking drugs to a near-death experience, these sorts of things that can put extreme stresses on the brain, you can see things that aren't necessarily there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the experience is any less for you. So, in that way, you have to think that what we see is our interpretation of what's around us. And if you can accept that, then you can start looking at this dress in a different way. Because it's very easy to take a picture of it and see one color, and then if you turn the picture slightly askew, and you're letting in, say, maybe more visual data surrounding the picture, or you're limiting the wavelength by which the picture is being pushed towards you, your brain will interpret it in an entirely different way. The picture didn't change. Nothing changed about it. Your brain changed the way that it saw it. Simple as that. I noticed very specifically when I was scrolling through on my phone, first time I saw it, that I was looking very intently at dark text surrounded by darker ads, and I looked and I saw the colors of the dress one way, and then I scrolled and there was a big empty white spot. And then when I scrolled back, it was the other colors. And this is also because my brain tries to streamline things. And so if it's getting used to one type of stimulation or one type of wavelength or color, then it's going to try and predict what things will look like. And it can actually just color things completely differently. To give you a good example of how incredibly well our brains are at fooling us, if need be, there was a famous test that was run many, many years ago, decades, where researchers put a special pair of goggles on some volunteers' heads. And all these goggles did was they turned the world upside down. Everything that you saw was upside down. And so these people, very disoriented, had to keep these things on, and they stumbled around for a few days. After a set period of days, the adjustment of their brains kicked into gear enough that they saw things 
perfectly upright. They were no longer disoriented. They had their awareness of where they were and how they were supposed to orient themselves in space. So after they managed to do that, the researchers then had them take them off and even without the goggles, because their brain had streamlined into working that specific way, everything was upside down. So what color is the dress? Who cares? It's whatever you want it to be. If you find it pleasing or you don't is really honestly the only important question. However, maybe this is a good excuse to look into more about subjective perceptions or the way our brains work or really start to question if what we think we see is it always what we really see hey this is jeff's kid if you like his videos don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos like it and share it with your friends